Um, last two have been really good for you, obviously, and just want to know if there's been like a common theme between the last two that you think will help you carry this in through October. Um, I mean, those are in the past, but yeah, I felt good those past two outings. Uh, hopefully, I can keep this going to, uh, tomorrow. Uh, just excited for this series. Um, it's not really a new team we're facing, so we see them a lot. They've seen they've seen our pitching staff a good bit, um, and they're a good squad. So it's going to be a hard fought battle, and we're ready to compete against them. And um, you know, our guy Wheeler today, he's going to go out there and do everything he can, like we. Um, like he has done all year for us today to start the series off good. So uh, it's an exciting time to be here in the postseason again. Next question. In the back there on the left, stay in the back. Aaron, <clears throat> talk about the opponent being familiar, but the situation kind of is now too. At this time last year, we're talking about ending the drought and first home playoff game. Now that you know what all that's going to be, just how does this year compare to last year at this time for you guys? We kind of know what to expect, especially in our home ballpark. Uh, for a lot of us in that clubhouse, it was our first postseason to experience. So it was all, all new to us. Um, so we have the, that experience now, and we, we know what to expect um, in-game and um, before the game, after the game, stuff like that. So I'm just happy for the young guys who get to experience it and some of the really young guys their first years up here. And one guy in particular for a couple of days. <laughs> so that doesn't happen usually. Sometimes you got to wait like uh, several of us did last year. So it's a fun time, and I'm excited to see their, their emotions and um, their comments on, on tonight. Next question. We're going to stay in the back with Todd on the left. Speaking of Orion, have you like kind of joked around with him? Like, uh, hey, do you realize how long it, it took <laughs> yeah. me to finally get into the postseason? Yeah, man. I know. Uh, he told me JT – uh, got on him a little bit after we clinched the other night. Um, he said he had to wait eight years, and Orion had to wait like three days. So, no, it's it's really cool for him. I mean, a guy who that was in college last year and just kind of rolled through our, our minor league system, and he's up now. It's pretty special. You don't really hear, hear that too often, and not many guys get to experience that. And then you're a guy that can throw a breaking ball for a strike with regularity, and he kind of can do the same thing. Can you speak to maybe your impressions of his sweeper slash slider and what you like? Yeah, it's electric. Uh, everybody knows that now. And he also has an electric fastball. And I hope he starts to use that a, a little bit more. I mean, it's 97 to almost 100, so with some sync to it. Um, it's got a lot of talent. He's going to be really good. And when, when he debuted for us the other night, it almost looked like he's been here for five years. So he's got a lot of confidence in his head, which is awesome. Uh, just perfect for our bullpen. You in the back of the right? You mentioned familiarity with the other team. When, when you, the stakes are raised like this, do you approach it any differently as far as for preparation as you would a regular season game, or do you kind of look at it the same way as you would facing the Marlins in August, for example? Yeah, kind of the same way. The same way. I faced them quite a few times, and... They know me, I know them. For me, it's all about executing uh, what I need to execute um, at the right times. So that's all I'm going to focus on, try to get ahead of, ahead of the guys and uh, try to get early outs and just compete against them and be aggressive. Down here in the front on the right. How do, you, <clears throat> how do you stay grounded getting ready for a game like this and when you're out there? Um, a little bit easier since I kind of experienced it last year. Uh, I know what to expect a little bit more. But... I'm just going to treat it like another game because it is another game, right? It's just that uh, later on in the season, a certain amount of teams are in the postseason. So obviously it's a little bit bigger stake than, than a game during the year. But it's still another game, still the same game. And I still got to go out and, and make my pitches. On the left over there in the second row. Aaron, having uh, been around Wheeler now for four years, just what stuck out to you uh, watching him up close or uh, maybe behind the scenes that fans don't get to see all the time? Uh, he's pretty much the same guy as you see on the mound as he is off the field, but just with a little bit more fire when he's competing out there. He's super, he's super calm, very chill, doesn't let anything get under, his, get under him or get to him. Uh, you don't really know if things are going bad or going good just by the way he acts if you just look at him, uh, which makes him so good in my opinion. Uh, he can strike out. He can strike out 15, or he can give up five runs. It 
doesn't really matter to him after the fact. He knows what he has to do leading up to his next start, and he, he has got a quick memory, uh, so he forgets really quick. So uh, I think that's what really makes him good. And to me, playing with him in 2020 for the first year, he's a, one of the first guys that I played with who can throw almost 100, 98 to 100 consistently and command the baseball. So you see a lot of guys nowadays that, that throw really hard, but they don't command it as well. And he, he has you know, four or five elite pitches that he can command too, which is that's what makes him so good. Anything else, Aaron? You go there in the middle on the left. Yep. Hey, Aaron. When you take the mound tomorrow, it'll be eight days since the last time that you pitched. What has kind of been your routine to get ready for the postseason with a little bit of extra time? I threw two bullpens this go around. Uh, threw a little bit more than I usually do, uh, just to just to stay ready. I didn't want too much time off because um, eight days is kind of a long time, but. Uh, I feel ready. My body feels healthy. Uh, I feel like I got some good work in this week. Can you go down here in the front? Hey, Aaron. Uh, this season, when you've been asked about your contract situation, every time you've said you're you're not thinking about it, um, how are you able to not think about it and just focus on staying in the moment? Uh, I, I just want to win for this team. I want to go out and and do good and try to give the team the best chance to win. And that's kind of what I focused on all year and. Tomorrow, that's what I'm going to be focused on, too, try to have a good start and uh, put the guys in the best chance to win. So, I mean, that's what it's all about right now, and we want to we want to get back to where we were last year and a little bit more. So that's everybody's goal right now. And to, for me, it's kind of easy to stay focused on that uh, because this is what I've always trained for. It's what everybody in that clubhouse has trained for uh, to get to this point, to get to the postseason, and hopefully have a good run.